actually, you know, I leave the baby like that. Let me measure the baby's head. So you want to put the baby over here? Victor Prospero is six months old, and he's here at First Choice Clinic for his regular well baby exam. Victor was born prematurely, and the hospital staff at the neonatal intensive care unit helped his mom, Gina, get him signed up for Medicaid. That makes it easier for his parents to get all his regular checkups in this important first year. Well, he's always had that breathing, like of the wispy breathing. Since he was born and in the NICU, they decided that his airway was small. So then it took until his four-month checkup, and the doctor finally heard him laugh and realized that there was something else going on. And if we wouldn't have had the well checkups, we wouldn't have found out what was going on with him. How are you? Good. Good. How's little Victor doing? Good. Good. And how old is he now? Six months. Six months. All right. Well, I'm just gonna... The family is slated to see a specialist in October to get more information on Victor's condition. But their regular provider is Dr. Jennifer Garcia. Children that come to us and have an issue, a medical issue that is an ongoing problem, the earlier we can pick up um, on the issue, the earlier we can evaluate it, and hopefully um, keep a close eye on it so it doesn't become a bigger problem. Um, so for example, if, if a child has um, an abnormal hip exam when they're born, um, which is something we check at all the exams, then we can identify that early and send them to a specialist to see if they need any kind of bracing or harnesses to hopefully help them walk normally in the future. So something like that that goes undetected for you know, a few months can really um, impact uh, a child for their whole life. First Choice accepts all kinds of patients, those who have private insurance, those on Medicaid or Medicare, or people with no coverage. What we do at the six month visit is he'll get his third set of shots. So he'll be all up to date for that. And then we'll see him back when he's nine months and we'll just keep checking his growth and development. Um, but he looks great so far. Okay. There are not nearly enough clinics like this to meet the demand um, that exists now or that will exist in the next six months. Um, there are uh, eight clinics in the first choice uh, system that are seeing patients in that manner. Um, and even though we'll see over 300,000 visits a year, there's still just a tremendous need for additional uh, primary care, whether it's pediatrics, family practice, or uh, adult internal medicine. First Choice also helps eligible people enroll in programs like Medicaid. It's easier to get needy children, like Victor, on Medicaid than to enroll adults in the program. But even if kids qualify for Medicaid coverage, they're less likely to be enrolled if their parents are uninsured. Health providers hope that will change with the Affordable Care Act. It means some 400,000 uninsured people in New Mexico will be eligible for Medicaid or for health plans on a state exchange. But advocates worry there will not be enough outreach to get people enrolled. That, they argue, would leave families and children more vulnerable. If you're not accessing um, health services, not getting vaccinated, not having preventative care or health promotion uh, reviewed with you and your, your family, then you know, all of the kind of endemic problems that we're seeing now, childhood obesity and childhood illnesses, um, which are all preventable, um, are much more likely to occur. For Gina Prospero and her fiance, having Medicaid coverage helps them give their kids regular care that they can afford. Without having the insurance, it would be pretty hard because right now, <laughs> at the point, I'm not working because when I was pregnant with him, it was such a hard pregnancy and having a C-section and all that. So he's the only one working. So having those big co-pays and having those where you have to pay the whole bill or a majority of it would be really hard Like with one person working in the household right now. So I was born and raised in New Mexico. I'm a mother of two, and getting my children access to health care has been one of the biggest stressors in my life. The reason it's so important for kids to have coverage from prenatal is it's all about child development. We need to give kids the best start that we can. If all our families, if all our children don't have access to the health care they need when we need it, I'm really concerned about the future of New Mexico. 
So one of the things that I hope comes out of the discussion today is that by hearing a kind of a diverse um, group of perspectives that we might establish some common ground and maybe begin to think of some strategies that we can employ to improve access to health care for kids and access to coverage. You know, we've seen enough of what the fallout looks like of having poverty, lack of education, lack of health care. It's playing itself out every single day in the streets and in the communities of New Mexico. And we hold the key. We can make it a priority and change this, and we can do it together.